Two of the expelled NRM MPs who were arrested in downtown Kampala yesterday were released last night after spending hours in detention. I know, but you don't have to just uh... Remyaga County's Theodore Sechikubo and Kampala's Central Muhammad Nseriku were arrested along with Butambala MP Mwanga Chivumbi as they celebrated the Supreme Court ruling that blocked the Electoral Commission from holding by-elections to fill their parliamentary seats. The three MPs reported to the old Kampala police station as directed by police, only to be told that their file had been transferred to the central police station. They have finished all what is required and uh, the, fi the, the file has been uh, submitted to RSA, to, to DPP for advice. Their case has attracted all sorts of comment from the public regarding the judiciary's independence. The Attorney General Peter Nyombi says the Electoral Commission should abide by the court's decision. Well, I think we have to abide by the court ruling. This case is different from Quagos. He, however, calls on the Electoral Commission to continue with the process of electing a new Lord Mayor for Kampala City. They will go ahead unless there is... There is another directive uh, that, that stops the Electoral Commission. Although the case of the Kampala Lord Mayor is yet to be disposed of in court, the Electoral Commission has already set the 17th of April as the date it will hold mayoral elections. I asked the Attorney General to clarify on this seemingly odd development. In Rukwa's Goz case, I remember two directives. One of them was don't hold the meeting. The meeting had already taken place. Don't hold the elections. The elections had taken place. So there was very little that we could do. Political observers say that the squabbles at City Hall have dragged the top officials from government into the matter in order for them to try and restore sanity by using all possible means at their disposal. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.